News tonight, we're learning more about the governor's universal pre-K plan. During her State of the State address last night, the governor announced she would institute universal pre-K classes statewide by the end of her term. Today, we got new details about how she'll do it and what it will cost. Iowa to Sue supporter Kim Kalunian joins us now with what she's learned. New at 530. Kim? Well, Mike and Caroline, the big question after last night's State of the State address was how much will the governor's proposals cost and can the state afford them? For universal pre-K, the governor is asking for an additional $10 million this year, and she says she cannot think of a better investment. Five. Governor Gina Raimondo visits pre-K classes in Pawtucket following her State of the State pledge to make universal pre-K available statewide by the end of her term. By the time I leave office, there's going to be a pre-K spot for every four-year-old in this state whose parents want it. On Wednesday, the governor said her goal would be to have 70% of four-year-olds, roughly 7,000 students, enrolled in pre-K classes by 2022. As of now, it would not be mandatory. We may get there, but we're starting now with we're putting it as an option. There are currently spots for more than 1,000 students with a waiting list for those seats. The state hopes to add 200 slots this year and have 350 pre-K classrooms at the end of four years. So some of it will be in schools just like this. It's a you know public elementary school and there are pre-K classrooms. Others of them will happen in Head Start centers in uh, early childhood. Uh, centers and frankly that's how we're going to be able to find enough seats. This year Ramundo is putting 10 million dollars in her budget to get the ball rolling. Will it be hard to find the money? It will not be easy. Yes, it will cost money. This year it's 10 million dollars alone. I can't think of any better investment that we could make. And Raimondo believes the investment will actually save money over time, saying studies have shown quality pre-K leads to better graduation rates and lower crime. She says she'd much rather invest in pre-K than in truancy programs, remedial classes, or even the ACI. Live in studio, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.